Hi, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Omar. And in this tutorial, uh, we'll make this exercise in SOLIDWORKS. This would be practice exercise 34 of this playlist and I will provide its file in the description link so you can download it from there and you can practice. I will use this drawing uh, when I will be creating this part and uh, we'll check this part in the end like these dimensions using uh, evaluate command. So let's go to here SOLIDWORKS and select new and select ok. Here we'll create a new part. So first of all, I will change my background to plain white and I will set my units to MMGS. Okay. So let's go to here this reference drawing and basically I took this drawing from uh, internet uh, as a practice. Uh, so first uh, we'll make this view, uh, this one and uh, as you can see here 45 by 28 and you can see uh, here angle is 105 not 90 degree. Okay. So let's go to here SOLIDWORKS and uh, let's cancel this one okay so select here front plane sketch and first i will draw let's say a uh, this line so let's say this one and this dimension is 45 millimeters okay uh, now we'll draw this line and this line is uh, at 105 degree from this uh, reference line so I will change its degree. Okay. Uh, you can see that this length is 28 and this is the aligned dimension. Okay. This one, no, not this one, but this one, it is 28 millimeters. Okay. Uh, now I will draw this dimension. Let's say this one is 12, then 12, then this one, this one is eight and then 15. Okay. So let's make first this 12 and then uh, this 12. Okay. So let's go to your line command and uh, this one is 12 and this one is also 12. So let's dimension this and this one is also 12 units. Okay. Uh, now uh, this one 12, this one 12, this one is 8 and then 15. Okay. So this one is this one is uh, 8 this one uh, basically this line is parallel to this line so we can take this dimension so this dimension is 8 millimeters and then we have a 15 millimeter line okay this one this one is 15 so I will change its dimension to 15 uh, now you can see that we have a fully defined sketch so uh, next is uh, uh, i will create an arc and its dimension is 12 units and this arc is basically tangent to this line okay so i will make a three point arc i will select this arc and i will select this line and i will select this relation tangent and then i will constrain this arc to 12 units the radius is 12 as you can see that and uh, now uh, we have a line here and that is tangent to this arc and it is uh, uh, connecting with this point okay so I will draw one line connecting this one and this line is tangent to this arc and now you can see that we have a fully defined sketch and remember one thing that uh, this line okay this line is not parallel to this line okay uh, lastly we have a, a circle here uh, having diameter 10 units and this circle will be uh, through okay so let's make one circle and its dimension is 10 millimeters and now you can see that we have a uh, fully defined sketch and uh, you can see here as well the sketch is fully defined so i will exit this sketch i will rotate my view and uh, now you can see that we have a extrusion here uh, having a depth of 30 uh, i will draw this part and this part later okay so let's go to here extrusion i will select this contour and uh, i will choose mid plane 
and I will cancel this contour because uh, this part is not selected here. Clear selections, and now you can see that we have uh, the selection as well. Uh, this would be 30 millimeter, okay. Uh, both sides that is 15 here and 15 here, and select okay. Uh, now uh, I will draw this part. Uh, basically, we have an inverted V here, and this V would be uh, created using a uh, extruded cut command. So let's make this V, and here you can see that this dimension is 10, and this angle is 90 degree, and it uh, it would be right in the center of this block. So I will select this face, select a sketch, view normal, and uh, first I will create a center line. And then I will create uh, inverted V and I will join this contour. Uh, as you can see that it is not symmetric. So select this line, hold shift, select this line, select the center line and I will make them symmetric. Okay. Uh, now you can see that uh, this dimension is 10. So I will select this point and I will select this point. And this dimension is 10 millimeters. Also, this angle is uh, 90 degrees. And now you can see that this uh, dimension is fully defined. And uh, you can see that the color of the sketch is turned into black from blue. And you can see here as well, the sketch is fully defined. So I will exit this sketch. I will rotate my view. And I will go to here, extruded cut. I will select this sketch. I will use this option through all and select OK. And now you can see that this inverted V is created in our block. Okay. Uh, now I will create this part. Okay. And uh, it is 5 millimeter away from this wall and uh, it is 6 millimeter away from this edge. Okay. So let's make it. I will select this face sketch and the top view let's rotate it uh, okay this one i will create one line here and then i will create one arc just go back to this point and uh, it will be converted into an arc and i will close this contour okay this dimension is 5 millimeters and this radius is 3 and this dimension is 6. Okay. So this dimension is 5 millimeter. And this radius is 3. And this dimension is uh, 6 millimeters. As you can see here. Okay. This is 6. This is 5. And this is 3. And it will be uh, cut up to this face okay exit this sketch rotate i will go to your features extruded cut i will select this contour and here i will use this option let's say up to surface and i will select this surface okay as you can see that the preview and i will select okay and now you can see that this block is created uh, now I will apply some appearance to this block. I will use let's say this one and select OK. Uh, lastly, I will check my design that it is created uh, according to these dimensions or not. Uh, for checking any part or any assembly in SolidWorks, uh, we use this evaluate measure and i will select this line and i will select this line and here you can see that this angle is 105 degree and angle is 105 degree uh, okay let's check uh, let's say this uh, this dimension it is 15 millimeters so just cancel this i will select this vertex and i will select this vertex and you can see that this distance is 15 okay uh, also uh, let's say we can check this dimension. This dimension is 10. So I will select this vertex and I will select this vertex. 
and you can see that this distance is 10 also uh, let's say this this depth is 8 so I will select this edge and I will select this edge and you can see that this distance is 8 okay this one not this one uh, this one is 5 which means that this dimension okay so it is also verified uh, lastly let's say I will check this dimension is 6 from this edge to this center of the arc okay so just cancel this select this edge and select this one and now you can see that this dimension okay this one this one is 6 you can see here this one is 6 uh, lastly let's say I will check uh, this angle okay this angle so I will select this one and I will select uh, okay first I will clear these select this one and select this one and here you can see that uh, we have total length 14.14 it is not showing angle and uh, basically it is showing that the two selected components are perpendicular okay which means that uh, the angle is 90 degree okay uh, so uh, that concludes this uh, exercise uh, i hope uh, you like it and uh, if you have any questions any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list uh, you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects thank you